Hello crochet friends, welcome back. Working on our basket. We ended last time with finishing up the base of our basket and now we're starting with the body, so it would be the sides of our basket. I'm continuing, continuing with this same blue color and this is round one of the body. So we're gonna call this round one now because it is the body of the basket, okay? So round one of the body is single crochet each stitch around. We know how to do those, right? So we are going to single crochet in each stitch. We have 48 stitches on our work. So this is what I like to call bulk day. So bulk day is there's a lot of rounds that use all the same stitches, the same pattern the whole way, same number of stitches. So I'm going to set you up and get you started and give you a little homework. Um, so to finish it up before the next, um, you start the next video, which will be something different. So this is bulk work of rounds one through eight of the body. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, all single crochet each stitch around, all 48 of them. You're gonna need to keep track of your work if you wanna use a row counter or a stitch counter, um, just to keep an eye on how many rows you've done, because um, you don't, you don't wanna mess yourself up here. Um, so we are going to do one through eight, and I usually, I'll write it down on a piece of paper. That usually is fine for me. I mean, it's only eight rounds, so it's not too, too bad. So I'll write it down and just like kind of scratch it off as I go along, and that works well for me. Um, but so it's just a single crochet, just a single crochet each stitch. So take your time, go through each one, all 48. You might wanna check your count every once in a while just to make sure that you've got, you know, the right number of stitches on your work. Things happen, sometimes we skip a stitch or something. Um, so just keep making sure that you have 48 stitches, that you've done the right number of rounds. Move your marker up if you're using that. That really does help. Um, so when we meet up next time, we will beginning, be beginning round nine. Okay, so for round nine, once we do that, we're gonna change to our next color. So if you haven't gotten your next color yet, you might wanna grab that um, so we can get started. And it's, I'm so excited. I really think this is gonna be a great size basket. And I wanted to do this project because I'd like to use it for a gift. I think it would make a great gift um, for somebody to, you know, put nice little things inside the basket and, and it, it just, you can use a little tissue paper and it looks all wrapped and beautiful. So I like it. Um, I'm hoping that y'all like this too. And you can use them for anything. They're so versatile. So, I mean, possibilities are endless, right? Baskets are wonderful. Like I could use tons of baskets. This would even be cute around a uh, plant pot. If you want you know, it to look pretty, maybe you've got an old plastic pot or something and you wanna put a pot inside of it, that would look beautiful. So, you know, use your imagination, make it for whatever you would like. And we're just gonna keep going, single crochets, each stitch um, and each round the whole way. So one through eight, I just wanna make sure that everyone goes through eight and that you have 48 stitches on your work, okay? So see, I'm at the end of my first one. I'm gonna move my marker up. I'm gonna write down that I did my first round and then I'm gonna keep trucking. Keep trucking along, okay? <laughs> All right, so when I see you next time, we'll be done through eight. We'll be ready to go to change our color and start on nine. We'll see you then. Thank you and have a joyful day.